Tesla has released a new version of Actually Smart Summon, and I gotta tell you, I have been absolutely blown away by the improvements I'm seeing in just one single update. As you probably know, I always try to push the limits as much as possible to show you what it's doing well and what it struggles with, but I had a difficult time finding the limits on this version, and as you see some of the situations I put it through, I think you're gonna agree that it wasn't from a lack of trying. And people's reactions to seeing no driver just never get old. You can see it squeezing its way through here, even while there's pedestrians walking around it, which is something the previous version struggled quite a bit with. There obviously is still a big bias towards pedestrian safety, but it doesn't feel like it's scared of them anymore, and it's driving much more naturally. And that's not all. There's actually a ton of other quality of life improvements that make me way more confident while using it, which we'll go over in a bit. But first, just check out how naturally it handles driving to the front of this store to pick me up. It's slowing down enough to give all the pedestrians around the right of way, but never comes to a full stop, which does a really good job of showing its intentions. Then as soon as the lady on the right hand side with the cart stops to give it the right of way, it immediately proceeds. There's a lot of really small nuances to situations like that, and judging by the fact that nobody even really seemed to glance twice at the car, I'd say it's handling those nuances better than ever. And do you remember how long it took for the car to get moving after pushing the summon button on the last version? Well, now it's basically instant. You can hear it skid to a stop there when I stopped it as it was going over the speed bump. And sorry for the shoddy camera work, I was a one-man filming crew here, but hopefully you can see just how fast it's reacting to me pushing the button to when it starts moving. I would say there's less than a one second delay, which is such a huge improvement. There was always some amount of stress because if you accidentally lifted your finger off the button for even a moment, it would take time for the car to warm up and it would just sit there awkwardly, but that's all gone. Another huge improvement is that they seem to have completely fixed the issue where it was slamming on the brakes when getting too close to curbs. You can see it has to get pretty close because this is a tight area to drive through. All the curbs in this little section of this parking lot are completely chewed up by humans hitting the curbs, but it handles it absolutely perfectly. I tried this in a lot of different areas and it never once slammed on the brakes like it used to. These improvements gave me a lot more confidence to try actually smart summon in situations where I normally wouldn't have, like in the car wash here where they just installed a brand new gate. You can see a couple of pedestrian interactions here where this lady starts walking to the back of her truck and it's just making sure she's not going to walk out any further. And again with the car to the right where somebody pops out. I really don't mind the additional caution around pedestrians. It's what a self-driving car should do. You can see it does successfully drive close enough to the gate to make it open and as soon as it opens it goes ahead and drives through pretty incredible stuff and if you thought that was amazing trust me you ain't seen nothing yet the way it handled some of these situations that i put it into genuinely blew me away I'm standing on the other side of the parking lot, and when I first summoned the car, there wasn't much traffic, but it really built up before the car got there. Just watch and see. Doing a really good job staying smooth here, even though it's basically needing to go head on with this other car, it doesn't slam on the brakes or freak out or do anything really. Very smooth. I'm standing off to the left of this storefront in front of us, and you can see there's a white truck to our right who's trying to turn in here, but unfortunately because of the way the truck to our left is parked, you can kind of see it there in the visualizations, uh, there's no room here, which isn't someone's fault, just a very poor parking job by that truck. You can also see it nudging its way forward here, ever so slightly trying to show intent to other drivers, but there's just not a large enough gap for it to fit into right now. And again, the reactions from bystanders around who notice no driver are just amazing. If there was a picture in the dictionary for rubbernecking, this would definitely be it. There are some people trying to be nice and give us the right of way, like it seems like this truck off to the right wanted to, but then he starts moving and then the one to the left stops and it, there's just no good time to go here. This is definitely a stress test if I've ever seen one. The car is doing an excellent job of staying very patient. Somebody does end up giving us the right of way off to the left and it not only takes the initiative, but it actually tries to get even further out of traffic's way. You can see the steering wheel go even further off to the right so it can clear traffic. Absolutely incredible stuff. 
I wanted to see if the car was going to pull into the parking spot where I was sitting over there, but there's so much traffic around. I was just getting way too stressed out. I had to take over, but wow, 10 out of 10. The way that this version is seemingly able to predict the intention of other drivers is just seriously next level. Like you can see this person backing out of their parking spot here and it stops and gives them plenty of room to feel comfortable, but watch how early it starts proceeding because it knows they're about to take off and move again. This is definitely starting to feel a lot more like full self-driving where there's definitely some end-to-end -end stuff going on here. Hopefully you're starting to see why I said I was having a difficult time pushing it to its limits because it was absolutely nailing every challenge that I put it through. There was really no awkward moments or it getting stuck or anything like that. And it stayed extremely smooth, even in situations like where this speeding car was coming around the corner. It just slowed down and turned the steering wheel a little bit, but nothing too crazy. And also I am completely off the road here. I wanted to see how much I could actually push this thing. I was on, out in the dirt here and you can see even with that, it detects the dirt as drivable space and it actually comes and finds me driving through the dirt field to get to me. This is absolutely unbelievable. All this in just one dot update. It's just, it blows my mind. Another example of just how quickly it starts moving when you hit the summon button. As soon as that animation changed, the car was ready to go and moving forward. I find it interesting that it's no longer doing that little reverse maneuver that it used to do to check the blind spot directly in front of the car. I don't know exactly why that is. Maybe they decided it just wasn't worth it. I'm not really sure, but it, it does make it a ton faster. There is one pretty strict limitation though, and that is that it doesn't want to drive anywhere near public streets. Even though I have our destination to our left and it's supposed to make a left turn right now, there's a public street to our right and it stops right here saying that it's not allowed to drive on a public road. And in this scenario, you do have to go and rescue the car because summon will no longer activate. And here I am again, trying to push the limits as much as I possibly can. Not only is this a tiny parking spot with a curb directly off to our left, but there's also another curb behind it, which makes maneuvering through here extremely difficult. And I do have the destination set kind of far away and it's gonna have to either back all the way up or do a three point turn or something. You'll see the curb that I'm talking about in just a second. Again, sorry for the poor camera work here, but that curb right there that you can see has been pretty eaten up by tires is what makes things difficult. And I think this next part is really amazing because you can see the car think its way through this situation. At first, it seemed like it was trying to plan a maneuver to turn around here, like maybe backing up into that same parking spot that it came out of to turn around, but it decides, nah, that's just too difficult. I'm just gonna go all the way around the block. And that is exactly what it did. This was genuinely one of the most human things I think I've ever seen my car do. I put it into the most difficult spot that I could find and it really felt like it was thinking its way through that entire situation and hey look it got to me. This is an insane amount of progress compared to the video I posted just two weeks ago. It truly feels like it leveled up. Speaking of which, there's a way you can level yourself up just as quickly using this video sponsor. Brilliant is an interactive learning platform where you can level up your knowledge in subjects like AI, math, physics, programming, data analysis, and more in an easy and intuitive way. Rather than watching lecture videos, lessons on Brilliant get you hands-on with the subjects, which makes it feel a lot more personal and helps to build a real understanding. This method has actually been proven to be about six times more effective than watching videos, which is something I can definitely attest to. These lessons break complicated subjects like how large language models work down into bite-sized pieces that are not only easy to understand, but also let you learn at your own pace. So even though you might only be spending a few minutes a day learning, you end up with a real understanding that sticks. By using my special link in the description, you can get everything Brilliant has to offer risk-free for 30 days and also unlock 20% off their annual premium subscription. A big thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and until next time, everybody. Bye.